Yo, what's going on guys? DJS here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys a random video today and uh, do a video basically on uh, embarrassing sneaker stories. Uh, and this is uh, one that kind of I thought would be fun to share with you guys from my high school days. And uh, yeah, if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. There's nothing that's going to be really changing in the backdrop. It's just the, the sneakers that are back here and just me talking over uh, the video. But, but basically, um, I just wanted to tell you this story because I thought it was kind of interesting and hopefully has a good message behind it. Um, and, uh, yeah, so let's get into it. So high school, uh, was a kind of an interesting time for me, a little bit tough because I didn't have a lot of money and, uh, and you know how, well, I don't know, I'm sure some of you guys are in grade school, middle school, high school, and you guys can totally relate to that. Just, you know, there's lots of, uh, other families out there that have a ton of money and the, the other, you know, the classmates have the, the newest of, and um, the latest and greatest sneaker releases and everything else, um, fancy cars and all that stuff. Uh, that's not the that's not the lifestyle I came from for sure. We, I went to a private school, uh, which it was a stretch. It was really expensive for my parents to send me there. But, um, but basically, like it just I didn't have a lot of money and I played basketball. And on the basketball team, it was one of those things where we would travel to go play games. And at nighttime, sometimes I just I couldn't eat dinner. Uh, the buses would stop and the the vans would stop from some places, and I just wouldn't eat. And Sometimes, you know, you just try to play it off like you're, you're cool and, and, you know, it's not hungry or whatever, but I, I just didn't have any money to, uh, to buy, uh, stuff. And my parents, their solution was just bring dinner or bring food or something like that. And it, it is just, it's a tough thing to explain to a kid, um, when you're in high school, like you want to be able to do everything that everybody else is doing and buying dinner when they're stopping off at the, you know, at a restaurant or something, something like that. But so anyway, the so the high that's just a little bit of a backdrop the high school thing was kind of tough and as you can imagine the sneaker game wasn't too strong back then either uh, i worked summers and that was kind of the only income that i have I, that i had i also had some jobs in high school um but they were really minimal pay uh i flipped burgers and i i worked at an ice cream joint and stuff but literally it was like garbage pay 70 bucks 80 dollars for two weeks of work because it was like two hour shifts they never gave me the big shifts I only got two hour shifts at a time, like four days a week or so. It was just horrible. But um, so, yeah, I didn't have a uh, fancy sneakers or anything like that. I just had uh, some shoes. They were actually called the Air Prevails. And I'll post a picture of them on the video on the screen right here. It's a pair of shoes actually I've been looking for uh, for quite a while. I've only seen one on eBay, but it's upwards of $350. And I'm not going to spend that for the shoes. Plus, it's not the colorway I wanted. But that was a pair of shoes that I had. And, and, um, and uh, you know, I really liked them actually just because it was what I could afford. But I the the story goes basically I was finishing up uh, basketball practice one day or I was finishing up or going to one or the other and I noticed in the uh, in the um, lost and found there was a pair of Barclays in there hence the reason why I put some Barclays in the backdrop and there's my old Pippins as well back here but um, but yeah dude it was a pair of Barclays it was the like the Air Force Maxes I believe and I was like man uh, like nobody somebody didn't want these shoes anymore like apparently they they just uh or they were lost and found and i knew that there was a couple of players on the team and one of them the dudes that actually had the shoes and i can't remember how the altercation happened not the altercation but how it how it went down but i think i i asked him if he was like i'm like did you lose your shoes there and over here and he's like no i uh i just i don't want them anymore and i was like dang no way can i have them because they're my size and um and he actually let me uh have the shoes and i was like dude this is kind of crazy um it's one of those situations where like looking back, like, especially now that obviously I have a lot of sneakers in my collection, like I don't like to buy used sneakers for the most part. And when you're playing basketball and just picture these shoes beat up from the, the season before and, uh, and totally worn in, obviously thrashed to the point where he didn't need them anymore. Cause he got some new sn sneakers. They were that pair of sneakers. And it was like one man's trash is another man's treasure. Like no doubt, because I was, super ecstatic that I actually got a pair of Barclays and they were nicer than the ones that I had. And, uh, and it was just like, and, and the fact that I was able to just get them for free, I was like, Whoa, this is like, it was like a, a victory almost for me at, at that point. But it was an interesting little, little, I guess, story in the fact that like you, you I guess it, for him, it was nothing, right? Because it was a pair of sneakers that, that he beat up and that he just wanted to get rid of. But for me, it, it it meant a lot to me to be able to get those sneakers and have those sneakers and uh, to have another like pair of, uh, to play ball in. And I could wear them casually even like it was, it was just, it was nice for me to be able to have uh, a pair of, of those shoes. So it's just kind of a, 
uh, one of those things where you can sit back and reflect on your own life at whatever point you are, a uh, poor or rich, and know like, um, like there's people that are less fortunate than you. And sometimes, I mean, that's probably part of the reason why I give back a little bit here and there. I try to as much as I can. Uh, but, uh, but it's just, I know that feeling I've been on the other side of the fence and it's not just with sneakers. It's just with, any, with anything I've been on the other side of the fence where I didn't have money for, for, for lunches. Like one of my best friends from high school ended up paying for my prom, um, dinner and my, my dates dinner because I didn't have any money for the prom for that type, type of stuff. I think he even paid for my tux. Like, like it was just one of those things where it was nothing to him because he, he had money lying around and, and he was able not just lying around. He, he earned it, but he had money that he was able to to offer. And for me, it just meant everything because it meant that I could participate in things otherwise that I wouldn't have been able to participate in. So uh, just food for thought, I guess, one of these videos where it's like it's it is embarrassing that I had to like grab a pair of old stinky like gym shoes and and I was using those ones and and I and I don't know, looking back, it's embarrassing because I, I had to do that. But also looking back, I'm proud for of that moment because it was a moment where I was like, it was like a, a gift and it was just something where I felt fortunate when I was less fortunate. And um, I don't know, I, I, I'll leave it at that, but it's just kind of a food for thought video and uh, just treat others like you want to be treated, man. And especially if you're in high school, don't make fun of other kids because they don't have the latest sneakers or clothes or whatever i mean there's too much of that around in, in my opinion uh all the like the hate and the negativity and you see on facebook people post videos of kids just fighting and beating up other kids for no reason like people are just defenseless and just getting their their ass beat people are defenseless and you're making fun of them people are making fun of them because they can't afford the things that you can afford that that's why people always like ask me like why or they don't always ask me they always they always say in a comment, usually comments that says like, you're really humble, like stay humble and stuff. And that's why that there's always going to be that there because you, you come from something that w like what I've earned is what I've earned for sure. Not just sneakers, my house, I have two houses, uh, and the car, you know, a newer car or whatever. I have a, a, a really, really fortunate life and I, but I don't forget, uh, kind of the humble beginnings that started uh, me out and just, good reminder to always i guess maintain and, and stay humble um but leave it at that leave a comment let me know what you guys think about this video if you guys like it uh show your support leave some comments um and uh yeah we'll leave it at that thanks for watching peace guys